right, so here he is, the former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson Silva. The pro record doesn't look like it did a few years ago, DC, but most people still inject the name Anderson Silva into the discussion of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. It's because Anderson is doing us a favor every time he steps foot in the octagon. He could have walked away and protected the record, but the lure, the draw of fighting, still is pulling at the spider. And every time he walks in there, we're getting the witness greatness. You feel it when Anderson Silva walks up the steps. I remember staring across the octagon and going, holy cow, that's Anderson Silva. And he has that approach, he has that appeal to everyone that gets in front of him, not only in the octagon, but in life. One of the nicest guys you've ever met is Anderson Silva. And a renewed focus on recovery and physical therapy has allowed the great Anderson Silva to compete deep into his 40s, DC. You ain't going 45, I'm there's no record. I'm gonna voice a video game. I'm gonna voice a video game. What a great idea. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense back in for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the school. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Anderson the Spider Silva. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending U.S. Our referee for this Ready. one. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys got to play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the clinch. It's a beautiful double jab. That big scroll right with the jab, too. There's that head kick. is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Push kick there to the body. Fast pace here in the early going. Well, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Ortiz. Straight left there. Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight, almost as if he's double parked outside. He's trying to get the job done and get it done quickly. But he doesn't waste any action. Everything is so tight and crisp. That's why he lands and lands, and he can be so aggressive. Oh, how about the 
accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take the oh, Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Back and forth with the These guys are trading huge shots. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket. in a world of trouble now. Oh, that's big. Well, at least to this point, this performance from Anderson Silva has been a sight to behold. All the crowd is doing an eye with his every motion. It's vintage, huh? It is the guy that I remember walking into the arena in Philadelphia in 2010 going, wow, or 2009 going, wow, I want to be like him someday. He is just a striking master. He's so accurate, he's so quick. And that is why, once again, Anderson has looked like a world beater. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, oh. danger in the engagement there. Ortiz is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. The kicks are working great. Hey, I need you to keep on that. And make sure you tie it with you. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, round two. Right on the button. There, DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh! Oh! Nice job by him defensively there. Oh. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense tonight. Oh! This is a crazy high pace. Patented front kick there by Ortiz. Oh, that's a pass. Tito's cheek looks like a Gets close, he throws, he lands. Well, Silva's. Oh, goes to the switch kick and lands. That was bad. He's hurt bad. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Big right hand. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denial. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, big left. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing the Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Silva's eye now closing up. Oh! And that'll do it! Holy smokes!
We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider. Well, he is still considered by some to be the greatest to ever do it, and Anderson Silva certainly did it tonight. What a performance for the future Hall of Famer. He let his myriad skills take over and made it look relatively easy at times. Big W for the Spider under the lights tonight.